Okay, this is a game between, well, Cyrix and I'm a gay noob, not me, that's his opponent, <laughs> and his op- that's his partner, sorry, and his opponents are Akiva and Kaka, whatever that name is. You can see yourself in a second. So I'm just going to pause at the beginning of the game. Uh, the elapsed time is 14 seconds, so if you want to fast forward to that so I can unpause it. Now, you're probably wondering why I'm shortcasting. Well, not quite uh, the best players in the world. Uh, I think Cyrix is about a level 15 player, and the rest of those players are around about level 14, 13, that kind of level. But as you'll probably see, I posted on the forums requesting if if anyone had any ideas for any other replays, and someone responded saying that they would like to see me shoutcast some lower level games because they think they might learn something more from them rather than watching the perfect high level games where very few mistakes are made. So I'm going to try and attempt this with this game. Uh, it's actually a strange game. Uh, some strange things happen at the beginning. Uh, I'll talk about them as they come. Uh, so it's not really a typical game. It really probably would have been best to have done a more normal game. But anyway, we'll try it with this one. So I'm going to unpause it at 14 seconds. Hope you're synced up. And start that now. So I'll just turn forward over there. And if you want to just click on Cyrix, uh, the replay vision. So click on Cyrix, we'll kind of concentrate on his game. And if you click or look over the left hand side, you'll see the art player at the top left hand spot. He's doing very well there at mining. Uh, not. So he's. Well, if you look at the bottom left hand spot, you'll see the human player is also being rather quick there at starting the mine. Uh, not the heavy sarcasm in my voice. So the human player started building. Uh, the art player at top left, who is Cyrus's partner, is now sending his peons <laughs> uh, down to the bottom left hand spot to try and quickly kill his opponent. Uh, is he really trying to do that? Well, who knows? But the peons run away. We'll see how well that works out in a minute. And Cyrus is doing regular build ghouls, uh, probably a death knight soon. Uh, is he waiting on a ziggurat? I don't think so. He's just being very slow in starting the death knight. So if we're focusing on Cyrus's play, I will say, there's your first mistake. No death knight. Wow, he starts his death knight. Congratulations, Cyrix. So the mage now sees five peons running towards the bottom left hand spot. And I'm sure he's shaking very hard at this point. <laughs> Uh, I don't know what Cyrus is saying, he's probably delayed his death night there because he's swearing at his opponent. What the hell are you doing, buddy? Uh, but to no avail. Uh, I think that's the purpose of his nickname. I am a gay noob. And he indeed is. So, he's going to lose all his peers. <laughs> and the mage cast a blizzard there to. I don't know. <laughs> Anyway, he hurt his own militia there, so... Uh, the human player not doing the best there with the old blizzard. <laughs> so, there's Cyrix with his death knight out. And you've got the five ghouls there, so... Uh, there's a lot of mistake, he's taking quite a long time to start... <laughs> uh, creeping there with the, the ghouls, so... Uh, you don't want to be hanging around in your base when you can be creeping much, much quicker. So both sides' his opponents here are human players. Uh, they've both got Arc Mage first. And, and the human at the bottom left. Those peers have caused him a lot of problems. They've obviously put him off. He's only got uh, two peasants and gold. And he's just started his barracks there. So, Cyrix has creeped. If I was in this position and my opponent had 
or basically just giving up at the beginning of the game. This is exactly what I'd be doing, is trying to creep very, very hard. Try and get experience as quickly as possible. Hope my opponents are not the best players in the world, which Cyrus has been relatively lucky here. His opponents aren't the best players. So it's still possible to win. Don't give up in this sort of situation. Uh, so now <laughs> the peons have been sent to annoy uh, Cyrix. He indeed is a gay noob. And he's woken up those wolves to try and piss Cyrix off. But luckily for Cyrix, he is capable of taking them out straight away. He's got a nice scroll there, a scroll of roar. Uh, he could have done slightly better micro there. He could have pulled that. Well, both those targeted goals back, but he's lost a couple of goals there trying to take out that dire wolf. And the peons aren't helping too much, but you can ignore the peons, their attack is extremely shitty, and the attack speed is very slow as well. So Shire should see these peons annoy him, should just run back to his base, add a couple more goals to his army. Yeah, he's been a lot bit slow with goals there as well, he hasn't been producing very quickly. He should have started his second hero right about now. He's been very slow at starting that as well. He's got 1400 gold in the bank. He obviously hasn't been building ghouls non stop. And he could have started his dreadlord now, or whatever his lick. But it's still not happening. This is a definite mistake. He's not building ghouls. If I was playing in this position, yeah, that fight wouldn't be taking all my attention. I can see I'm winning the fight. So you've got plenty of time to do all that stuff at your base when fights are that small. So his two opponents are actually taking out the arc opponent at the top left hand spot. If I was in this situation playing these two guys, I would realise this is a perfect opportunity to do more griefing because I know exactly where they are, I know I'm not going to bump into them, and I know they're not getting experience. But Cyrus is screwing around, he's pausing his base. This is a typical, uh, whatever you want to call it, m newbie, average player's mistake, is to hang around in his base for long periods of time and multiple times throughout a game. If you watch my games, you'll rarely see that happen. And if I'm doing it, I'm aware I'm doing it, there's a very good reason why I'm doing it. In this situation, there's no reason for Cyrus to be just pausing his base like that. And again, another slight pause at those creeps, and another, again, another pause there. Uh, personally, I'm always on the move as quickly as possible. So he meets his opponent. He's actually targeting a water elemental there. Um, well, that's not too. B well, I don't know. I usually ignore water elementals myself. He's targeting his opponent's mage here. He's got a coil there. At this point, he knows the mage is definitely going to die, so he targets it. That's the right thing to do. That was good play. Yeah, he let his death not get too many hits there. Personally, if I'd been fighting at that point versus that water elemental, I'd have pulled a ghoul off to give my death knight room to retreat and stop getting focus fired on. Yeah. He's kind of lucky that the mage there didn't focus fire on his death knight because it definitely died. But again, if I had been playing at that point, I wouldn't have been in that situation where the death net was in such low health. So he actually killed both the human heroes. So he's perfectly safe to fight these footmen, even with the death knight there, because it's generating energy very, very quickly. Again, a nice sleep there. He's going to get some extra experience off of that footman. And he's now at Black Citadel. Now I'll tell you, he has forgotten to get a graveyard. Uh, that's a big, big mistake. In the graveyard, without the graveyard, you cannot get frenzy. Mm, that's obviously extremely crucial to his build order here. Uh, the human player at the bottom right spot uh, seems to be the best player out of his two opponents. He's getting sorceresses and he's reviving his archmage, who will probably get a sec in the Mountain King. Uh, the other player, who's slightly worse, is also going. Um, yep, yeah. also going spellcasters. I don't really want to talk about their game because uh, I'm not that great. I'm going to focus on Cyrix. Uh, it's kind of screwing 